guest has starred in many Hallmark movies, including Love Blossoms and A Harvest Wedding. And his latest, Hearts of Winter, reteams him with my girl Jill Wagner. Welcome back to our home, our good friend Victor Webster. Hello, Hello Wagner. Thank you, Victor. It's good to see you. Good to see you as well. So good to see you. Now, we were going to talk about your movie in just a minute. You know, right. I'm a big fan of Jill's, big fan of yours. I Me love too. this film. But before we do that, you know, we generally avoid controversy on this show. Yes. But there was a video that has been released that wow. sort of got you in some hot water that I feel uh -oh. like we need to address. Are we going there, Deb? We're going to go there. Okay. And I feel like we need to show the viewers at home. But before we show you, I'd also just like to say, be warned, this is not for everyone. Take a look. Victor, why? What did wow. that snowman do to you? I don't understand. It was a perfectly nice snowman. You know what's hilarious about this is there was there was like a public outcry. <laughs> it, I just want to let people know it's just snow. Well, it's not an actual human. Are being. you sure? Well, I mean, the, reason, the reason I even made it to make a joke of this is because it's true. You had it on your social media, yeah, people and people are like, got oh, very no. upset that well, he killed the snowman. It's it was just his way of letting off some steam. Everybody, is that the idea? Uh, what happened? No, there was no steam on this movie. This okay. movie went oh. so smoothly, but the the cameraman was like, hey, I know you do martial arts. Why don't you kick the snowman and I'll film it in slow motion. I was like, all right. And so I did, and then, you know, I broke a lot of uh, frosty, frosty hearts. Look, well, he would have melted anyway. He would have. Some of your fans uh, were a little surprised, but they came around for sure. And, and one in particular, uh, you, you made a real impression on. Let's take a look at this video. Hey, Victor. Uh, first of all, I saw your video, the one with you kicking the head off the snowman. That is <laughs> so amazing. I mean, I love jujitsu. I've been trying to learn. In fact, your video, I've really studied it, and I actually think, I actually think I'm getting pretty good. I mean, I think maybe in a couple more weeks I'll have it down pat. Anyway, I love you so much. Thank you for being in the movie. Mm -hmm. Much love. Wow. Wow, she's a quick study. <laughs> yeah, really quick I would study. Not mess with her. That, and I love how, how committed she was to that karate chop or oh whatever it was to get to move. What her. you didn't hear at the end was the, the PA said, Can we please get first aid over here? <laughs> yes, <Christ. laughs> Always fun. She's always ready to play along. Let's talk about the movie Hearts of Winter. All right. You play Grant. I uh, do. We know a little bit about it, obviously. Um, tell us tell us more. You're a widower. I'm a widower. Uh, my wife passed away a few years ago. I'm raising a daughter by myself. Okay. Um, she comes into the mix because my daughter enters a contest to get a home makeover. All of a sudden, they come in and start disrupting our life, wanting to take everything out of the house, all the sentimental stuff that I love and reminds me of my ex-wife and our old family. And, and, you know, in Hallmark fashion, she starts to grow on me. I start to grow on her, and we end up, uh, you know, we may end up together at the end of the movie. I'm just, just a okay. guess. Okay, all right. Well, it's a very <laughs> sweet a story. Guess. And the two of you guys together are pretty fantastic. So good. Oh, like, she's uh, awesome. We've got a clip, uh, you guys sitting by fire with your daughter, with yeah. the girl who plays your daughter. Let's have a look. Uh, you want one or two marshmallows? Three. Three? Yeah. Oh, oh the trifecta. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Sure. So are you a uh, golden brown or a charred and crispy kind of marshmallow roaster? Uh, well, I'm more of the accidentally catch it on fire kind. <laughs> oh, oh, I see that. See? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Put this one down. <laughs> we'll concentrate on this one. Uh, are what? you going to teach me? I'm going to teach okay. you. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. Now keep it about 10 inches away and slowly just rotate it. <laughs> you guys are naturals together. Well, the cool thing about what I love about working with Jill is is we, we improv so well together. So only about a third of that was scripted, and the rest of it was us just throwing stuff out there and working off each other and vibing. She's so easy and great sense of humor, so it's always a, a like an awesome experience when I get to work with Jill. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's so too, good yeah. together. Yeah. Well, uh, like your character in the movie, uh, your character is very protective of mm -hmm. his late wife's possessions, right. one being her prized mixing bowl that she used yes. to make so many things. In real life, your girlfriend did something very beautiful for you as well, where she put something together of your loved ones who have passed yes. on. Tell us about what she did, the little shrine. Well, I had three dogs that passed away in about a year and a half span of time. Mm. And I love animals. They have gone all around the world with me. And um, so when they passed away, I had a collection of different things. And she got together and made this beautiful shrine of yeah. their collars and their footprint. Yeah, that's it right there. Like, 
when I found out that one dog passed was a railroad tie that I picked up off the ground at that time. So it was, it's a really, really special thing, and um, she was awesome. For me. That is so thoughtful yeah. and yeah. and really beautiful at the same time. That's yeah. an amazing story, and, and we're happy to report that you've got a new fur baby to uh, that you added what to your family. Story. Yeah, a great story. Tell us how Nova Nova came into your life. Well, I was you know wanted to wait before I got another dog, and so my girlfriend Chantelle and I were kind of like just looking at different pages and it came across this Instagram page of this dog rescue called Acre Dogs down in Mexico. And this girl, Rachel Watt, runs this dog rescue out of this resort down there. And um, we saw her ears that just stick up like this, little baby Yoda ears, and there she is right oh there. My goodness. She's so awesome. And so we heard about her personality. We flew down to Mexico. She was living in a sewer pipe with her eight puppies underneath this super busy road. And they found her and they pulled her into the rescue. But then she had to be separated because of quarantine issues with the puppies, but she broke out of the foster twice, walked herself a mile down the road, fed her puppies, and then walked back to the foster. That is she's unbelievable. hard to imagine <laughs> that it's possible, but that just goes to show you how incredible, smart. Uh, how smart and incredible so dogs can be. And that nurturing yeah. instinct, it's, she's, oh she's the best goodness. dog ever. She's the Aww. best of all of my dogs combined into one. Oh my gosh, that is so lovely. And the puppies, yeah. they all got adopted? They all, they got adopted first, but I guess there's some sort of stigma with black dogs and they're like bad luck. And, yeah, we hear about, that, talks all about that all the time. The time. Yeah. It's, that's so wild, because it couldn't be more opposite. It's so opposite, she's my lucky charm. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, Victor, Thank you are you. our lucky charm. We love having you here. <laughs> Please come back and visit. You're sticking around though. I will, I'm gonna yep. be here. We're eating some creme brulee. You all be sure to tune in for the premiere of Hearts of Winter this Saturday night at 9, 8 central, right here on Hallmark Channel.